What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another freaking playoff simulation video. If you haven't already, scroll down and hit that like button because that's going to be And in this one, we're doing the Stanley Cup finals in between the Montreal Canadiens and the Tampa Bay Lightning. So we did a round two simulation. They said uh, Winnipeg in six, and it turns out Montreal swept them. Now in the third round, it said Montreal in five. And we all thought that was psychotic. But Montreal won it in six. Tampa Bay beat the New York Islanders in seven games to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals. So who the hell knows? Anyway, we are going to just jump right into it. And we're going to see who's hoisting the Stanley Cup. Finally, it says playoffs, finals. Finally, that is correct this time. <laughs> so let's just jump into game one. All right, what are we doing here? Simulate. We're going to go to times eight simulation starting game one of the Stanley Cup Finals, and Montreal gets off to a quick power play. Oh, but Mikhail Sergachev is the one who scores first on Carey Price, but Brendan Gallagher ties it back up at one, halfway through the first. Another power play for the Montreal Canadiens, and goal Caulfield. Oh, baby, he puts one up. Oh, man, he has been so exciting to watch. It's been unreal. I can't, like, what a great story, right? And Montreal is up 2-1 to one after 1. So let's see. I look, well, according to this, maybe it ain't going to be such a goalie show after all, you know? Second period of Game 1. Oh, man, what's going to happen in this one? I mean, that's what, that's what I mean, right? The simulation was wrong the first time around, but it was right the second time, so it's like, who knows? <laughs> it could be very interesting to see. Okay, we're approaching the end of the second period, and Joel Armia puts one up to make it 3-1 to one for Montreal. My goodness, and that's going to kill the second period. So in the third, what are we saying, baby? What are we saying? 4-1! to one. It's Brendan Gallagher again! Holy crap a moly, man. Montreal, okay, there we go. Barclay Goudreau gets one back on Gary Price. The shots are even and everything, too. You know, it's like no one team is kind of dominating the other. The shots, the game's very even, but oh man, a five on three and Braden Point puts it in. It's a 4-3 hockey game, man. Tampa Bay really came on in this third period right at the end. And oh my God, Jeff Petrie gets an empty netter and game one goes to the Habs. Getting outshot at the end of it, 40-31. to Man, that's wild. This this game, I got to say, this game really loves Montreal. <laughs> Jeff Petrie with a three-point night. Wow, what a game. Let's jump into game two, man. Holy crap, Amoli. What do we got going on? Times eight simulation. Let's go. Get into it. Game two still in Tampa. So it's like, yeah, Montreal takes game. Well, Victor Hedman finally gets on the damn board. What does he have? Wow, one goal, 314 assists. And Andre Palat puts another one in. It's 2 nothing. And Gallagher again. Holy crap, dude. That Brendan Gallagher, it's like, is he... Uh, <clears throat> he's looking for the he's looking for the cup. He's looking for the Smythe. Let's go. <laughs> and at the end of one, it's two to one for Tampa Bay. So let's dive into the second period. Oh man! All right, approaching the five minute mark. Another power play for the Tampa Lightning, but it is killed off by Montreal. And now we're at the halfway point of the game, and it's two to one Tampa. Still, now it's three to one. Andre Palat again. Oh my goodness, man. 20 shots to 18. Yeah, Tampa's kind of pulling away in this one a little bit. But can the Montreal Canadiens come back in this one? Make it even, you know? Make this a closer game. Let's go. Third period, game two. Tampa, another power play. Holy crap. Chris Lee must be calling this one. It's a long one. And Nikita Kucherov makes it 4-1. to one. My goodness. Is there going to be a late push? Or is, this season, or is this series getting all evened up at one, man? Late in the third, it's looking like Vasi might be able to hold them off. They're pushing, they're pressing, man. It's all Montreal at the end here. But Tampa holds on to get a 4-1 to win in Game 2. This series can go either damn way. <laughs> and just like that, now it's Victor Hedman leading the series with a goal and three assists in the first two games. So let's dive into Game 3. And let's see what we're dealing with here. Tied at one, but we are at the Bell Center in Montreal. Quebec, five on three early. Oh, man. They got a five on three, but they got, like, no shots on it. I think they had that one shot before the pa Another five on three, and Josh Anderson puts it in. Holy. It's rigged. It's rigged, I tell you. Holy. Who gets two five on threes in less than a half a period? I mean, come on, man. 
Holy butt. At the end of one, it is one nothing Montreal. Let's dive into the second and see what is going down, man. Now we're about five minutes into the second period here in Game 3. Tampa with a power play finally. But it is killed off, man. Montreal, they're good at killing off penalties. You got to give them that. What do they have? Th their last 30 in a row have been killed off or something. Uh, and here we are at the end of two. It is still one to nothing for the Ta for the Montreal Canadiens. Shots 17 to nine after two periods. So this game has actually been a pretty low shooting game. But it's still one nothing Montreal, so hey man, Carey Price standing on his head. Another power play, and Tampa finally gets it. Tyler Johnson puts it past Carey Price, and a power play for Montreal goes nowhere. Oh, look at this though, eh? Big 1-1 one, one game in the third. It's all tied until Josh Anderson gets his second of the night. Can Tampa come back? Montreal's evening it up here. They're, they're, uh, they're evening this one up, and is it going to be an empty netter? It is not a 2-1 to one victory for the Montreal Canadiens at the Bell Centre in Montreal, Quebec. It's a 2-1 to one series for the Habs. And we're still in Montreal for Game 4. Victor Hedman still leads the series with 4 points in 3 games. So a low-scoring series. Game four at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. What is going to freaking happen here? Oh, a shorty for Blake Coleman against the Montreal Canadiens. Dagger in the damn heart. Is this one going to go to seven? I could see it, man, in real life. I could, I could totally see this series go to seven. But Corey Perry ties it up and Tomas Tatar gets himself into the damn lineup. What? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's 2-1 to one Montreal. That, I actually don't, I kind of don't like that. The fact that Tomas Tatar gets a goal in this. Because he's, I can pretty much promise you he's not going to play in the finals. Oh man, second period starts. And what do we got going now? 2-1 to one series lead for the Habs. 2-1 to one lead in the game for the Habs. And here we are at the halfway point of the game. Still 2-1, to one, but a power play for Tampa. They cannot put anything in the net. Oh my goodness, here we go at the end of the second. It's still 2-1 to one for Montreal. Shots are 22-20 to 20 for Tampa Bay. But uh, after game one, well, more like after game two, it looks like, yeah, now maybe we got a bit of a goalie show going on here. We got, uh, we, we got a little bit of a goalie show. So, five on three power play for the Habs. Nope, Tampa's going to kill that off, no problem. Another power play for the Habs. 3-1, to one, it's Brendan freaking Gallagher again. Oh my goodness. Is Tor there's, uh, Toronto, is Montreal, <laughs> Toronto would never be in the finals. Is Montreal going to take a 3-1 to one series lead here? It's late. Can Tampa push back? Can they push back? No, they can't. It's a 3-1 to one series freaking lead for the Montreal Canadiens. I don't know if I could see this happening. <laughs> but we're going back to Tampa for game five. So here we go. Let's simulate. Here we go. Game five times eight simulation. What is going to happen? Tampa Bay is like really up against it right now, man. Three to one stranglehold lead on the series for the Montreal Canadiens. And Tampa's getting every power play possible. They're out shooting friggin' Montreal 10-4 <laughs> near the end of the first period. But it is a 0-0 game. Carey Price absolutely wants to hoist it, man. I tell you, he wants to lift that cup. Here we go. Second period, Jonathan Drouin. <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go. one nothing. Tatar and Drouin are scoring the important goals. Oh, and Alexander Romanov. <laughs> and goal Caulfield against 3 nothing. Oh my God. Montreal. Montreal's about to win the Stanley Cup potentially. We're pretty much at the end of the second period. This could be like the quickest simulation ever. Yep. Second period's done 3 Nothing for the Montreal Canadiens. And here we go, third period. This is for all the bacon, baby. This is for, this is it. This is for everything. And another power play for the Habs is killed off Tampa. Just like doubling Montreal in shots. But Montreal making a bit of a comeback here. We are at the back half of it, man. 3 nothing still. Could Carey Price get a shutout in the, the cup-clinching game? Final minute. You know it, baby. The Montreal Canadiens have won the Stanley Cup in five. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine? <laughs> Brendan Gallagher leads the scoring in the series with four goals and one assist. Five points. My freaking goodness. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with this. If you disagree, 
heavily with this, which I'm like, yeah, I think Montreal does have a legitimate chance to win the cup this year. I really do. They're one of those teams. This is a special kind of year. They're a special kind of team. Tampa is a goddamn juggernaut though. Tampa is an absolutely absurdly talented team. They, they very well could win the Stanley cup, but Montreal is just that, that defensive powerhouse in the playoffs, you know? And it's like Carey Price absolutely stepped it up. Carey Price and Vasilevsky have almost identical stats throughout the playoffs. Vasilevsky's are slightly better than Price's, but their stats are pretty much even, which is, and, and it's like Montreal's defense is utterly ridiculous. So I don't know, man, leave a comment down below. Do you think this could possibly, possibly happen? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, or is it going to be five and Tampa wins, you know? Is it going to seven? I could see it going to seven. To be 100% honest, I could see this going to game seven. Anyway, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.